All right, so I just got an order on Facebook Marketplace. Let me show you how I actually go ahead and fulfill it. So I actually click the notifications, but you'll see in Messenger, it'll show you that you have a message with an order. It'll also pop up with notifications that you have a, an order. And then you click on that and it'll take you to your order tab right here and you can kind of see how it goes, okay? So here's where Z-Drop comes into play. Here's where all the benefits of this come from. And let me show you how I'm actually gonna fulfill an order. Now, in another lecture, I show you how to keep an auto-calculating spreadsheet to keep track of all your stuff. Obviously, I don't want you to know every single thing that I'm selling and how much it's selling, um, but this is basically how I approach it. So today is gonna be 4 17 21. I keep the date in there just in case I need to go back for reference. Um, also, I keep the marketplace there. So this is what I do. I go Facebook marketplace. I abbreviate it. I sell on a number of marketplaces, not just Facebook marketplace. I also have multiple Facebook marketplace profiles. Um, and I'm eventually planning on moving into shops once that opens up, but it's not open yet. I also keep the, so the marketplace and the orderer, like the person that actually orders. This has been, you know, something that I've integrated recently, and it's not actually in the other lecture where I teach you how to create the spreadsheet. But what this basically does is this allows me to let me drag this over a little bit this allows me to come back if i need to and put the tracking numbers in a lot easier and just keep track of things if there's a problem with an order it's you know it's beneficial to kind of keep track of not just where the actual you know order is taking place but also who the actual order is okay now what i basically do next is i come in here and there's multiple ways to do this you can take i believe like the difference of the selling fee and the estimated sales tax but that's just like an estimate what i like to do is i come in i click the listing right and then what I do is I go edit. And this is just to kind of get the information here. So I take the title of the actual listing so I know what's sold. And the reason that this is important is because at the end of every month, I obviously look at my profit because the spreadsheet auto calculates at the bottom. I will show you how to do that later. But I also kind of maximize all these things. And I look at like all the different sales and I look at oh, what is selling and how much it's selling so I can look at trends and focus on not just estimates and not just things that I'm like, you know, making assumptions. I'm literally looking at the data and being like, okay, this sold X amount of times this month at this price point, this is why, and it helps me optimize and improve in a lot of different ways, okay? So I take the listing name. Now the next thing I'm gonna wanna do is I'm gonna get the supplier, which I believe this is Amazon. So I'm gonna put Amazon in there also. I make $29.45 on this. So I always come into the end and get total estimated payment. I found that this is more accurate than just looking at the fees in general, but you can do it in a number of different ways. That's just how I do it. I believe it was $29.47 or $29.45, so I'll fix that. $29.45, now I don't need this anymore, right? So I'm gonna fix this on $29.45, not $29.47. Not that that two cents really matters. Um, and then, so right here, what I then want to do is I want to copy the address here, and that's going to copy the address into ZDrop, okay? Now I need to find this Frisco cac uh, cactus scratching post, so I need to come to my ZDrop because that's where I've listed it from, right? And then I'm going to go to search, and I'm going to go cat and search with a filter. And let's go scratch, cat scratching. Let's see if it pops up. Cat scratching post cactus right there. Bam, it's from Chewy, actually. So we're going to change this to Chewy. And now I have all my information in there. And then basically what I'm going to do is I'm going, because I don't want to show you like my credit card information and all that other stuff. It's pretty self-explanatory. I'm simply going to add this to my cart. Okay. And then I'm going to, because I copied with ZDrop, basically all you're going to do, put simply, is you're going to take the person's information and you're going to order it from Chewy or from Amazon or from Home Depot or from Walmart or from your wholesale supplier or from whoever and order it to this person's address and this person. Okay. And you can obviously write this down manually, like you can copy and paste it and put it in there. But one of the ways it's really, really easy is if you just click the copy by ZDrop, obviously I've already done it. It's gonna copy it to the clipboard so that when you go and you order this to the actual person and you go in and you put the address in there, you can just, a little button will pop up right here in red and it'll say paste address in from ZDrop. You hit that and it will paste that person's address in and then you just order it, okay? So that's how you fulfill an order, and that's basically, it's really, really basic, okay? And then what I do is, depending on how much this costs me, I forget how much this is, I'll find this out in a second once I actually process the order, but let's say this is like 22 bucks, well then it's gonna auto-calculate in my spreadsheet and tell me, okay, you made $7.45 on this, which is a 33.8% margin. Um, obviously that's just percentage-wise, that's kind of how I look at it, okay? And then I also post the order number in here from the actual website, 
Um, this helps in case I need to go back and look at things. This also helps on websites like Amazon and Walmart. So you can look through your orders really fast and paste the tracking number. And what basically I do with tracking is I leave this tracking number blank uh, up until I get the tracking number. So then I also put the tracking number in here. I use, I put whether it's FedEx, UPS, USPS, or whether I use OA Genius to actually get the tracking number. On top of the fact that I also go in and I put it in the Facebook Marketplace tracking. So what I basically do is I come back to Facebook Marketplace and you'll see all your orders and then you want to mark it as shipped and then select the carrier, whoever it is, and then put the tracking number in and click save. Okay. And that's basically how you approach that. That's how you do it. So the way that you get the tracking number is obviously you look back through your orders um, on that specific website, or a lot of times they'll email you and tell you when it's shipped, and then you can click on the shipment in your email, and then you can go to the tracking and then get the tracking number that way, put it in your spreadsheet, go back and put it in Facebook Marketplace or wherever it is, okay? So that's fulfilling an order. It's very self-explanatory, and obviously you can piece this together yourself. It makes it super, super easy. Make sure you're keeping track of all this information. Even though it's a little bit slower and you know you obviously have to put it in a spreadsheet, it's going to be crucial information. You're going to want to look at this stuff later, potentially. You want to keep track of this stuff. So that's you know fulfilling an order. Hope it helps.